Creating a table in Caddy is very simple. If you go to draw from the main menu, advanced objects, and you create a table, you can tell Caddy how many columns it should have, how many rows it should have, the column width, and the row height. You can also tell Caddy to include a title row. If I say OK, it prompts me in the command line to indicate the position for the table. Once you indicate the position, your table is created. What I'm going to show you now is to use the table that we set up before. Once you select the table, from the context sensitive menu, going down to modify, you will see you are able to edit table contents. In the command line, once again, it will prompt you to indicate the cell to edit. So if I click on the cell over there, it brings it up where I can say it's now chair number one. Once you click on OK, the table updates. Going to the context sensitive menu again, going to modify, you can resize tables, resize cells, edit table text parameters, and in Caddy 16, you can export the table to Excel. Once you export it to Excel, you can give the table a name that it will export to Excel, click on save, and it will save that particular file as an XLS file. If you go and you open that Excel document, you will see the complete table as it was created in Caddy 16 is exported directly into Excel. Closing that and going back into Caddy, you can also use the draw option, advanced objects, and insert an object linked embedded object. Now that is typically if you want to insert things like Excel spreadsheets, Word documents, etc. into your current Caddy drawing. If I choose to insert it from file and I indicate the position, it will then ask me to create it from file. I can browse to that particular file that I've just created, click on open, and in Caddy I can also tell it to be linked. Once clicking on OK, you will see that the XLS file, or whatever OLE object you've inserted, is placed in Caddy. Once you zoom in, you will see it refreshes and updates depending on the zoom that you're currently in. Because we've said that that OLE object should be linked, I can go to Modify, Advanced Objects, and Edit an OLE object. Once I edit an OLE object by pointing to this Excel file, it will automatically open up Excel for me, and in, any changes I make in here will apply to my drawing itself. So let's just call this Basin 02. Save the Excel file, close Excel, and once you go back into Caddy, you will see the OLE object automatically updates.